An Indian tribe's new casino violated the law, but the tribe couldn't be sued because the way it violated the law was by building the casino on non-reservation land. That was the seemingly paradoxical holding of Michigan versus Bay Mills Indian community. The Bay Mills Indian community purchased property in Vanderbilt, Michigan, using funds Congress provided to compensate the tribe for the government's prior taking of its ancestral lands. The tribe opened a casino on the land. Under the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, tribes can run casinos only on Indian land. The act also partially waives tribes' sovereign immunity, permitting states to sue tribes for gaming activities on Indian land that violate any tribal state compact. Michigan sued the tribe, arguing that the casino violated the act and their compact with the tribe because it wasn't on Indian land. The district court granted an injunction, shutting down the casino. While the tribe's appeal was pending, the Department of the Interior issued an opinion stating that the Vanderbilt land wasn't Indian land. The Sixth Circuit vacated the injunction, holding that the act waived tribal immunity only for gaming activities conducted on Indian land. Because Michigan alleged that the tribe violated the law by running the casino on non-Indian land, tribal immunity barred its suit. The Supreme Court granted cert.